Hello, my pure fam. Woo! Welcome back to another vlog. Don't mind my appearance right now. I'm picking up a little bit. I also have a cold, if you can't tell in my voice. My nose is slightly runny. This weather has got me all messed up. All messed up. Um, I just finished walking Max. I'm gonna have my usual drinks that I have in the morning. I'm gonna have apple cider, um, coffee or tea. I'll have my black seed oil pills. Um, let me just show you again because I showed you in the video, but I don't know, maybe you missed it or something. So, so the black seed oil, you guys may have seen this from my like morning routine. I take this um, Hydroxy Cut Max, it's their caffeine pills, and then um, one a day, I take one of these. And then I'm actually really thinking about taking this Diatomaceous Earth, it is kind of like a natural cleanser from what I understand. They're actually living like organisms that stay at the bottom or they live at the bottom of the sea and they have kind of, which sounds really gross, so don't throw up, but it's, they have kind of like little claws or something oh, hell no. oh, oh, ah. that tend to cling to all the gunk in your body and as they pass through, they take all of the bacteria and stuff with them and so since i have a cold i may take this i don't, I don't know how i feel about taking it every day because it is kind of drying because at one point i was taking this um on a regular basis and i found that my skin was really dry drier than normal and um my lips and stuff i have to like keep applying chapstick and stuff so these are like what I usually take in the morning. And then I'll have coffee, but I'm out, so I'm gonna have to swing by the front of the, um, in the lobby to get some coffee. And that's that. So this thing right here is what gets me every single time, this apple cider. Man, I just take, I don't even pour that much in it, and then I just kind of dilute it with water. I don't need a full cup, because I want it to be as strong as possible with, that, with like me still being able to take it in so I'm gonna down this <laughs> and then I'm gonna go get ready and I'll take you guys with me um, to get ready real quick we're gonna just sped up get ready I'm my my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, hey, you want us for a run when I tell a bit peace Love is love, love is love, howdy, yes Bindo, bindo with the switch again Boy deliver like he heffin' it Call with digits, give him estimates Summer sauce for my Benjamins I got, I got what you need, baby Skirt the Chevy, make a scene, baby L.A.B.B. been the team, baby Bim Bim Papa worth the G, baby Look, lab till I'm finished Had a handful of lemons Through the hand, got a bag Now the hands in the business For my hand, it's a ticket Talking Maza for the biggest That's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it I've been playing with the minutes That they been shoulda gave And I'm flipping every digit That they been shoulda paid Had to find a way to get it Know the season what you made If I ever wanna dip Then I'm brink with the blade And I'm brinking a blink On the brink of some dumb shit Watch how I move Cause I know the brink's coming Watch for the blues Cause I know that they Okay. So, you know, I just finished getting ready in the bathroom, did my hair, the huge to finish getting ready, and then I looked down at my sweatshirt. You guys, this is foundation. And then I was like, you know, I thought about American Gangsta, and he was like, don't rub, you block that shit. Oh, hey, 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 don't rub on that. You block that. You understand? That's alpaca. That's $25,000 alpaca. You block that shit. You don't rub it. Put the club soda on there. Right? And so I was like, listen, who am I to not do that? So I was like, you know, with a little towel. It didn't help at all. 
if anything, it made it worse. And now the stain is not only brown, but it's like dark gray around the brown. And this sweater is thick. This sweater is so thick. Can you imagine how long it's gonna take to dry? I'm like, oh. I was trying to get ready so that I can take a couple pictures and just, you know, have them, like some content from my Instagram and my blog. But listen, this is not gonna stop me, okay? Because I am just gonna edit it out. I'm gonna color match and it'll be fine. It's like right in the center of the A. It's not like on any of these lines. So I should be able to make it work. We'll see, we'll see. And we're off. So what are you guys up to today? I'm waiting on my fiance and then we're gonna head to the mall. I need to pick up some things for this Valentine's Day video that I'm making for you guys. I'm doing like full glam. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do my eyebrows actually. <laughs> I haven't done my eyebrows in like a year probably. Um, but I'm gonna do my eyebrows, do this bomb ass makeup. Uh, I wanna go get an outfit for Valentine's Day but I'm also gonna be wearing it in the video. So that's the plan. I really hope I get over this cold soon because this is not okay. I'm like sick every other week. Maybe like every other two weeks or something, but still. Oh, the stain's not so bad. It's not gray anymore. It's still brown, but it's not gray. Hey guys, so I am in the store now in the mall looking for something to match the eyeshadow look that I'm going for. I'm in Forever 21 because you can't go wrong with a little something, something, especially when you're not trying to make it last long. So, let's see what I can find in here. Hey guys, so I am still at the mall. I went in Forever 21. I picked up just like a, um, a sweatshirt and I'm gonna pair it with a black denim skirt and some like boots or something. Um, that was pretty much it. I didn't see anything in front of and I was very surprised because I thought they would have all the like stuff. I wanted to get something like fluffy, like a two-piece furry top and some pants or something, like a sweatsuit furry situation, but they didn't have that. So I just got a top and call it a day. It's going to match my um, eye makeup that I'm doing. So that's the plan. Um, I saw the La Madeline and I got a salad. So I'm gonna rub on that. And then I'll check back up with you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, so I am about to, it's another day, first of all, it's another day. I'm about to go and get some pictures taken because it's a sunny day. The last time I've taken um, some pictures, it's been really droopy, so it's really pretty. And I want to do like a fall, even though fall's kind of gone and it's like winter now. I want to do like a brownie look. So I've got this dress on and these boots. Got these boots on. I'm about to go take these pictures and then change into something else, take some more pictures for another day. Um, it's content. And then um, we're probably gonna go to the grocery store like we always do because Hebby, H E E H E B, but I call it Hebby, is one of my favorite places because it's just so nice in there and they have everything. They have healthy alternatives and they have crustless bread, which I never saw anywhere other than Hebby. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go there and then, um, I'm not sure what else, but whatever we do, I'll take you guys along. Um, uh, all right. Hey guys, so I'm in Hebby, like I told you, and I'm gonna show you like my favorite wine. I see it right now. Okay, so this guy is my fave. His name's Klein, he's Nancy's Vines apparently, and it's a Zinfandel. And every time I go in a restaurant to try to um, like pick up a red Zinfandel, they never have anything. So, I love it, this is my fave. Hebby has it all like organized. Zinfandel, 
Pina Grigio, Chardonnay, Lee 1078. It's all pretty good. It's a fruity red, which is hard to find. Hey guys, so the craziest thing just happened. Um, I brought you guys with me to Heavy. I just wanted you to see what kind of wine I like to get. Um, but like on the way back, we got in the car with groceries. First of all, I don't know how it was, but we had like $115 worth of groceries. It had been a while we needed to go. And the lady only charged us for $44 worth of groceries. So I was like, you know, that's crazy. I was like, are you sure? Cause I was like, I didn't want her to charge me wrong. Like it's say 44 and I'm actually getting charged like, I don't know. So I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And so, we walked out with $44 and paying $44 worth of like $115 of groceries. So I was like, man, that's a blessing. It's like crazy. And then we get in the car and the car won't start. The battery's dead. And we're kind of standing there for a while trying to get some people to help us. And then um, we walk to the, the gas station, which is a few blocks down, and buy some jumper cables and walk back to the grocery store and um get the security guard to help us but his little car is too small and the jumper cables we got i guess were too small as well so then this other guy comes out of the grocery store and he's like are you guys okay and we're like i mean yeah i think we're trying to get these cables to work and he's like i have some really good cable that can come and help you so he comes around with this like big old ram and he says his fiance bought him this jumper cable box that just like freaking is amazing so he puts it on and then immediately it just freaking turns on and i was like man this is so awesome i felt so relieved because we were out there for a while he just pops up and he's so nice and he's like um all right guys y'all need anything else and i was like no and he was like all right well you know god bless y'all be safe and he was like are you guys going far and i was like we were like no you know we're like not too far from here he's like okay we'll just make sure you don't stop the car of course and we were like yeah but he was so nice and i feel like times like that you know god sends somebody to help you when you're so stressed out like there's been another person i'll tell you guys it's maybe in like a story time um, but there was another person that came to me when I really needed them, a complete stranger, and showing kindness to someone who may need it really makes so much of a difference. It was, it's such an experience, you know, when you're that person who needs it, it makes me want to go out and do something good for somebody, you know? So if, if you're watching this guy, which I'm sure you're not, but thank you so much. Such a blessing. I feel like I need to go, like, repay, you know? that debt that I owe into the universe, you know, to go help somebody or like do something nice for someone. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, it was, it was really something. It was something, a good something though. Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are headed to the mall because we are going to the um, grand opening of the pop-up shop and Chi Chi Lamore is in there. My sister-in-law has, uh, she makes headwear and this is just a custom one, you know, but she makes all kinds. And I thought it would only be right if I go in there wearing her stuff, but we're headed over there now. I'm excited. I always like going to the mall. It's, you know, fun. And it's even more fun when we're like going there for an event, so. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Um, we're in the garage right now, that's why it's a little dark, but it's totally like earlier in the day. So, Tyne, are you ready to go? Totally. I'm ready to go too, let's do it. Okay guys, so I have some tea. So the real life of a blogger or vlogger or whoever, Instagram person, is that they get all dressed up, do their makeup, and take pics and then as soon as they finish with the pics they turn into their regular clothes so i've got my sneakers on right now because in real life your girl is not about to be walking through the mall in heels on but i took my pictures with my heels on because it's cuter but mm, let's be real okay it's not not realistic it's not what's really happening i'm very comfortable right now i got my glasses on can't really wear the glasses when i'm taking the pictures because as you can see there's a little glare 
but it's just you and me now, so that's fine. I'm on my business, stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut, hey, you want us to run when I tell a bit peace Love is love Love is love I do Bindo, bindo with the switch again Boy deliver like he heffin' it Call with digits, give him estimates Summer sauce for my Benjamins I got, I got what you need, baby Start the Chevy, make a scene, baby L.A.B.B. been the team, baby Bim Bim Papa worth the G, baby Look, lab till I'm finished Had a handful of lemons Through the hand, got a bag Now the hands in the business For my hand, it's a ticket Talking Maza for the biggest That's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it I've been playing with the minutes That they been shoulda gave And I'm flipping every digit That they been shoulda paid Had to find a way to get it Know this isn't what you made If I ever wanna dip Then I'm brink with the blade And I'm brinking a blink On the brink of some dumb shit Watch how I move Cause I know the brink's coming Watch for the blues Cause I know that they dump it Nothing in my view So it's hush on discussion Hush on discussions You know what you need to I keep it in the band To let you know that I don't need you Y'all cats be see through Head not to peace You been king I'm regal Got it in my abyssal Came through dripping Aquafina I'm sipping 15 Kept a weapon on me Flow make digits I'm my my business Stack chicken like what it's gon' be Crew in the cut Hey you Got my back on pippin', bitch, I'm back in kitchens with the tray Bitch, windows tinted like how black my skin is Scoop the shorty in it from a J Swish, she got vision just like any women Giving me the kitten way before the riches Nothing more to mention I could light a block of powder or a glisten Pouring on my body, that's a gold linen I came through dripping out the fina I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me Flow make bitches, I'm my mom, mom Benny stack chicken like what it's gon' be when the cut ain't hey, you want us to run when I tell a big piece Love is love Love is love How do you do those? Love is love Love is love How do you do those? Love is love Love is love How do you do those? Good morning guys I thought it would be a good idea to Hey Max Hey Wakes Hey Wakes um, I thought it would be a good idea to start off the video or today's video with um, a little yoga because at one point I was working a job that was really stressful for me. I was working like a lot of hours. Um, it, they paid me well, but it was kind of like taking a toll on my sanity. <laughs> so um, I started doing yoga at that time and it really helped me. Um, feel more comfortable in my body um, because I was like standing up all the time and like my back started to hurt and like feet was hurting and stuff um, so that helps for sure yoga help with that but then also kind of helped me get like a peace of mind I don't know it kind of gives you like a tranquil tranquil feeling and it promotes like positive affirmations and I talk about that a little bit on my Instagram every once in a while like you know, in the caption or whatever, I'll say, speak positive affirmations out into the world, you know, and I um, don't do it as often as I should, but I definitely want to get into it a little bit more, so I thought I'd start it off with a little yoga and um, work on trying to implement that into my life a little bit more as well, so. So, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I have my apple cider like you guys saw, and it's always really 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 tough for me because it tastes so bad and i just started using a straw um for my apple cider because it's it tends to like uh yellow your teeth for whatever reason it's good for your breath <laughs> it's good for your breath actually um but I, for, for whatever reason it stains your teeth so straw it is and i just chug it i just down it because i just don't have time to be trying to sip on it i feel like it makes it even worse Hello, 
everyone it is a new day I wanted to pop in and kind of close off the vlog um, but before I do I want to show you I went to Walmart and picked up a few things um, one is for our next try it out Ooh. so it is the should I tell you now Okay, so I'll just hint at it. I won't tell you exactly what it is because I don't want to ruin it, but it's a drugstore product. I've been slightly bougie as far as makeup goes. My first foundation was NARS back uh, in high school. I think like my senior year in high school or junior year in high school, I started wearing makeup and it was NARS, and I've never really like dabbled with drugstore foundation. I tried CoverGirl Queen foundation um, like five or six years ago, but that was pretty much it. So, did my research and looked up like what is the most well-known, like best drugstore foundation, and I came up with the one that I picked up for you guys. So I'm so excited to try it. Hopefully it lives up to his name because if so, then we, we got us a new addition to the family that, you know, won't break the bank. Okay, and last but not least, these are the last things that I got from Walmart. I have been in need of a new facial cleanser and I use Shea's Moisture right now. It's like a blackhead, uh, not blackhead, black soap foaming cleanser. Um, but with the problems that I've been having with my skin, I really need an exfoliator to try to get um, these dark spots and stuff away. Um, and this cleanser also is like a lemon. So this should help me like lighten things up, smooth things up. So I picked this one up. I've never seen it before. I was like, ooh, let me try this. So it's a lemon gel cleanser. And then this one's just like the basic clean and clear blackhead eraser scrub. And it's a good amount, so it should last me for a while. And plus, it's important to change up your products because your skin kind of becomes immune to things and stops working. And then last but not least, I got another set of nails that I thought looked pretty cool. So I'm gonna record myself um, and do like a, what's it called? Do a, um, a like how to apply these I kind of did a sped up one on Instagram if you guys haven't checked it out but I'm gonna do one for YouTube just for you guys so you can see how easy it is and like I said it's really inexpensive and it lasts for a while so yep that's everything I got from Walmart hey Max <laughs> okay guys like I said I'm gonna end the vlog here thanks so much for watching if you enjoy chilling with me life with Lauren you know, you should just give this a little comment, a little like, and subscribe. And you can keep up with me. We can keep up with each other. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to see specifically on this channel. Because I've got a few things in the works. But specifics, let me know. Alright guys, bye. Why are you so wiggly? What? Oh! <laughs>